Okay, in this video, I'm going to continue with exercise 1e. I'm going to do question 2. Uh, as of question, as like question 1, I'm going to do this very quickly because this is nothing new whatsoever. If it is, just go back and look at previous videos. I've gone in, uh, I've gone quite slowly and done these things in a lot of detail. So just, I'm going to define my unit vectors, but I'm going to rub them out because I don't really have space. That's a hat. I'm saying I'm going to draw the hats from now on. So that's I hat and that's J hat. Look, that's as normal. Nothing has changed there. So we're given uh, we're given a vector b that direction. Uh, it's called b. It's got an angle alpha. Uh, we're given a vector a at an angle 45 degrees, like that. Um, we are given that the magnitude. What can we see here now? There we go. The magnitude of a is equal to root 32. And we're also given that the magnitude of B is equal to 5. Well, look, we know the magnitude is the, uh, the length, the hypotenuse of the triangle, or it's the, it's the resultant of the addition of the two component vectors. So we can just draw it straight in. We know that A is 5, sorry, A is uh, root 32, like that. And what's B? Well, B is 5, like this. So we're going to get our, our, uh, our component vectors here, so this would be what? Root 32 times the sine of 45. This would be root 32, the cosine 45 like that. This one here would be 5 times the cos of alpha. This is 5 times the sine of alpha. Once again, always bear in mind that you have plus, 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 minus, 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 plus. All right, they're important. I haven't written those in, but uh, you just have to bear that in mind when you're doing it yourself. All right, so we're asked to find a plus b, and we're told it's parallel to the j-axis. So a plus b is equal to, now I'm just going to call it a random number here. We'll say um, d the i hat direction, we don't know what it is, plus c in the j hat direction. But we're told that it's parallel with the j axis. Parallel with the j axis. Well, that means it's in, we'll say, we'll say in this direction somewhere, it's either that way or that way. If it's in the j, it's, it's in the y axis, but parallel to the j hat unit vector. So anyhow, let's go, let's get a plus b. We know, of course, that we can add vectors that are facing in the same direction or in the same dimensions. This was that way, that way, that way, that way. This vector, and this vector are in the same dimension. This vector, this vector are in the same dimension. Of course, they've got different signs as I spoke about a moment ago. So let's just look at the i hat side. So we'll say a plus b. Uh, one part of it is minus 5 times the cos of alpha plus root 32 times the cos of 45 and that is i hat all right that's i hat similarly uh, we'll say plus and a large one again we're going to say that it is 5 times the sine of alpha in the i hat direction, wrong in the j hat, but I'm not going to draw that. 5 times sine alpha minus root 32 times the sine of 45 degrees, like that. And that is what? It's in the j hat direction. So, let's, uh, do we have to plug this in? I suppose we do. But we know that it's parallel to the j axis. Parallel to the j axis. Okay. Parallel to the j. Right, I'm just wondering how to explain this to you. Just, let's draw a Cartesian plane again. Right, if this vector here is parallel, we'll say your two, two, two axis, there's a vector there. In what dimension is that vector? Well, it's clearly in the, the y dimension. It has a unit vector of j hat associated with it. Does, is, does it exist at all in the, in the x dimension? Well, the answer is no, it doesn't exist in the x, x dimension. Therefore, it does not have an i hat uh, unit vector at all. That is not the case. So basically what that means is that the i hat components of the vector a plus b sum to zero. Here they are. That's all equal to zero. 
So I'm just going to move down here. I'm sure you have this on, on your copy, so it doesn't really matter for you. That means that minus 5 cos alpha plus root 32 times the cos 45 is equal to 0. That's what that means. If you look at page 13 of your log tables, or well of your new log tables, you find that the cos of 45 degrees is equal to 1 over root 2. So what you have minus 5 cos alpha plus root 32 times 1 over root 2 is equal to 0. Do a small bit of algebra or manipulation of your algebra here and you're going to get root 2 over root 32 uh, minus 1 fifth like that is equal to cos alpha. So root 2 over root 32 is equal to root 16 is equal to 4 so the answer is 4 fifths. That's cos alpha is equal to 4 fifths. And now, how do we find out the. So we'll just draw the. So there, we'll just rub out all this. We don't need this anymore. Cos alpha is equal to 4 fifths. Push that up like that. Well, I know we're not really asked for it, but let's just let's just go and draw our triangle anyway. Uh, we'll say that this would here would be the vector, well, whatever vector it is, doesn't really matter. A plus B, the I have, oh, it doesn't really matter. Anyway, so we know there is, we'll call this alpha. Uh, this is opposite, this is hypotenuse, there's 4, there's 5. If you use Pythagoras, say 5 squared is equal to 16 squared plus this one here squared, and you're going to find that that's equal to 3. And we're asked to find a plus b if it's parallel to the j axis. Uh, parallel to the j axis. So anyway, you know that it's um, cos alpha is equal to four fifths. So therefore, we need to get the angle itself. All right. So alpha is equal to the inverse cosine of four over five. And if you plug that into your calculator like this, shift cosine four divided by five, thirty-six point eight. So approximately thirty-seven. 37 degrees, you couldn't see that there. So, if you go back up here, right, we have that this is the i hat part of a plus b. We're told that it sums to zero, therefore, we can do what with it? We can just get rid of it because we know it's zero i hat, and we know that alpha is equal to 37 degrees. So, I got rubbed out a small bit. So, 37 degrees is what I said. So, this one here, a plus b is equal to 5 times the sine of 30, it was it 38 or 37? I would say 38. 38 degrees minus root 32 times the sine of 45 degrees. Okay, plug that into your calculator and let's see what we get. So 5 sine 38 close brackets minus square root 32 times the sine now just make sure that sine is outside of a, or outside of your your square root. Sine of forty five. Is that did I write this? Did I write that correctly now? The answer to that there is minus zero point nine two. So a plus b zero i hat minus zero point nine. I'm going to say minus. We'll say minus uh, one j hat. It's going to be nice and uh, nice and rough here. And we look at the back of the book and find that it's minus j hat, which is exactly what we have. And that's how you do that question. Please subscribe, pass it on to your friends, and thanks for watching.